Hey everyone, welcome back to Persona 5. Um, well, oh yeah. Any new info? I actually, I, I like this right here. I'm standing beside her, I stop, I turn, she's looking at me, I pull out my phone. <laughs> and, and basically start uh, start texting her is what this ends up coming down to be. You got any info on the Phantom Thieves? I know I can see you standing beside me. I'm counting on you as a true believer in them. Do you have any info now that you're standing beside me? You got any anything for me today? You know, because you're standing there beside me? <laughs> she seems to be waiting for you at the bar. Do you want to go see her? Well, I'm technically standing beside her. Let's go right away. That's the spirit. I'll be waiting. You know, two feet to your right. <laughs> it just warps me to the door. That is so goofy. I get why, but it's just so goofy. <laughs> Don't give it to me. I hear the flu's going around. I like that. Don't give it to me. Well, I'm not sick. You should wear a mask. Places like a crowded train can be dangerous. Uh, do you have a lot of info on the Phantom Thieves? Uh, I feel like you can be. We are. Ready to get closer to her, but not ready to deepen just yet. That was only a little creepy. Then take a seat. Sorry, not sorry. Actually, I'm kind of sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she seems happy. Provided her with some info. She is now ready to rank up. Oh yeah, I have something she might like. Let's try... Sure, what the hell. Oh, present? Oh, so nice of you. I'll take it, thanks. Should've did this one last time. Oh well. Alright, we're ready to get... Uh, we're ready to... Uh, ready to rank up. That's good. What does today hold? Oh? Yo. Hey, I've been waiting for you, Darren. And you, you know I'm getting at, right? No, actually, I don't. Send the calling card of the 18th. Then carry out the plan the next day? Yeah, we've been over this. You're ready, aren't you? I've been ready, yeah. Yeah, you know what? I'm already ready. I've been ready. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I didn't even have to ask. You're reliable, but don't forget one thing. Let's have no regrets. This is our do or die situation. We don't have the option to fail. Oh, yes. Oh, great. You're going to ask me a question, aren't you? There haven't been many. Re I was going to say returns, but reruns of historical dramas recently have there. I wonder if the Phantom Thieves have had a hand in that. Many of those shows have uh, noble thie Many of those shows have noble thieves and shady people. I don't know why I can't read, guys. I really don't. Given current trends, it may be seen as insensitive. Uh, Nezu Mikozo was one of the gentleman thieves in the Edo period, or the Edo period, I believe it's how that's actually pronounced. According to one theory, he stole over one billion yen. Making the most, or making him the most wanted man of the era. Now then, Markun. Oh, I was listening. I swear. Do you know the answer? Do I know the answer? When he was executed, something was done to his appearance. Do you know what it was? Um. I have no idea who this is. They shaved his head. They put makeup on him. They stripped him naked. They made him wear a costume. I have. Absolutely no idea. But, uh, something was done to his beard. I, I would actually say that if anything of the sort, he would either be they shaved his head or they made him wear a costume. I have no idea. So I'm just to throw my, my random guess out there, they made him wear a costume. No. They put makeup on him, evidently. Very good. Exactly. Uh, he was to be paraded through the city, and then decapitated, and have his head put on display. Oh, how pleasant. They put light makeup on. 
uh, and uh, light makeup and lipstick on him. And made him wear a beautiful kimono. Why? The parading around the town of well known uh, or of a well known criminal was sort of a performance back in the day. The citizens would have been satisfied if he had looked shady, or wouldn't have been as satisfied. Anyway, that's so. That is so random. That is just so random. Nice going. All right, yeah, yeah. Let's get over it, guys. Come on. A question was answered correctly due to uh, powers unforeseen. All right. I wonder what will happen to the Phantom Thieves if they well, or if the Phantom Thieves get arrested. These days, it won't just be their heads that will be put on display. <sighs> uh, people are having fun thinking about that, huh? Yeah, I don't exactly like it either, Morgana. Yeah, 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 I know, there's three days. Hey, Haru! Who else is available? Anne is maxed. Shenya, Haru, Chihaya, like the, everyone. Futaba's not available. I don't remember if I have anyone that's not uh, ready to rank up now, uh, because... Uh, Oya was the only one that I think that wasn't at that point, and she's now ready, so... I kind of want to go get a reading with Chihaya, just to put a little points into somebody, but I, I don't know who to do that with, so I guess let's just head to the rooftop. Hey Haru, I don't remember when we have to pick up the vegetables. Just need to wait until the day of the announcement. I'll be taking care of the plants until then, we read this already. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, the ones have done enough growing, so we can harvest them now. Cool. There we go. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I could. I probably could have got them on the 14th, actually, or maybe the 13th. Probably could have come up on the 13th, actually, because I think it was uh, from the 9th to the 13th. Oh, well. They're healthy. Oh, we got three carrots. All right, well, we get one more. I guess technically it's a 50% increase. That's kind of decent. Let's plant some more carrots. Right, on the 19th. Oh, great, on the 19th. Well, I highly doubt we'll be able to get those on the 19th. <laughs> Just because that's going to be the day that the shit hits the fan. So, uh, I'll be getting that probably off camera. <laughs> anyway, yeah, people, I'm looking forward to it. How many uh, carrots do we have now? Seven. Yeah. All right, Haru. My headset is falling off of my head. Oh god. Much better. Alright, I'm waiting for the announcement. Let's hang out. I'm thinking of going to find some books to help me study coffee. Would you mind coming with me? Well, I think we're going to go to uh, that place that I can't remember this. <laughs> oh my god. We went with the, we went there with Chihaya not long ago. Jimbocho, that's the one. It's a perfect place to look. Let's go. That's what I was thinking. I just couldn't remember the name. I see. So there are eight different ways to roast coffee beans. Apparently, the light roast is the most acidic. Huh. That's actually interesting. I didn't know that. I actually do tend to like uh, lighter. Uh, a lighter roast myself, like a, a lighter medium roast sort of thing. I'm not too big of a fan of uh, like the dark roasts. I'm, I'm not even sure how that comes across, but uh, those are the ones that I'm familiar with. That says here the type of roast you want should differ depending on how you want to drink your coffee. Uh, can you make some for me? You know, it's fascinating. You know, you're so studi studious. Let's go with that. Yes. All right. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to make sure the beans as I'm growing can reach their full potentials. 
Maybe I should have got points with Haru. She's not ready yet. Uh, you know, Okamura Foods didn't start out as a burger chain. What? Originally, it was nothing more than a small cafe run by my grandfather. A particular shop closed before I was old enough to appreciate the finer intricacies of, of coffee. Oh, but that's where the real origin of our family business lies. Huh. I could have guessed that. You know what? That's a surprise. Huh. Oh, I've, maybe I should have said I had no idea. Anyway. Yeah, after uh, after all, everyone knows the company for its burgers. Um. Uh, at any rate, after my grandfather passed, the company shut the cafe down due to its steady loss of revenue. He had never cared about turning a profit, though. His only goal was to make people happy. He built a strong community around the cafe. He'd even give out free meals to those who couldn't afford it. Wow. Then the day it closed, people lined up for blocks to give flowers. They really loved that place. But... I wonder how many people would line up for Big Bang Burger if it suddenly went out of business. Probably not many, considering the scandal that just went on. I know we need to do well to keep our employees paid, but I can't help but think we've lost something important. I mean, Takakura-san seems to, uh, to only be focused on profits. At this rate, we'll never lose our black, or uh, yeah, never lose the black image. <laughs> black light coffee? <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, you know what? Um, I don't know if she is right from that because I know why he's focused on the business and the profits. He's he's trying to keep the business afloat. Is uh, to me is what it sounds like. And uh, there's a lot that goes on uh, in running a business and whatnot. And like you would never. You would never guess the amount of crap that goes on behind closed doors unless you're actually involved in that sort of stuff yourself. So, I, I get where he's going and where he's coming from with his, uh, you know, f focus on profits. But uh, I, uh, that's really, I, I don't even know what to say here. Uh, if you're never losing the, ba the, the black image, like yeah, that, that would be kind of bad. But I don't know if, uh, if this is like be like making light of it or calling it as a joke. Like this would be. I'm gonna risk this, but I I have no idea. I'm probably probably an idiot for saying this. Huh? Oh, I get it. <laughs> oh wow, that that was the right thing to say, huh? <laughs> You're so funny, Darren Kun. You were trying to cheer me up, weren't you? Thanks for that. Well, there we go. <laughs> Sometimes you just kind of trip and fall into success. Uh, I think what I really need is to get stronger. I mean, I can act tough in front of my employees, but you know how weak I am inside. I think you're quite a bit stronger than you realize, Haru. I have a plan, though. Before I can really determine who I trust, I first need to know. Need to know. Wow. First need to know what it means to have others trust in me. So I'm going to get stronger, strong enough for you and the others to rely on me. Haru, we already rely on you. Well, got a firm resolve from Haru here. That's uh, that's still a plus. Harusen recovery, yeah. That is a very, very useful skill. Hmm. Uh, but how am I supposed to gain the trust of my employees? I'm not great at public speaking, and even just giving my opinion makes me a little nervous. Oh, you must have loved being up on stage during the the. The uh, that sharing part of the the school festival. Haru. Oh, great. Huh? Sukimura-san, what are you doing here? I was just heading home from a business engagement when I saw you from my car window. Huh? Do I know you from somewhere? Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure the last time we met, we were threatening you to try and protect Haru or something along those lines. You're one of those brats from before. Um. Oh, this is a friend from school. He's helping me look for some books today. Anyway, we should be getting back to our shopping. Oh, please excuse us. Oh, hold on, Haru. You think you can go on a date with another man and leave your fiancé in the dust? Wow. You really don't know how to listen, do you? You are not my fiance. I already said I'm not going to marry you. Oh yeah? 
What about the contract I made with your father? Fa yeah, father's no longer here. Besides, marriage is something you go into with your own free will. Also, if you have a contract with her father, that would mean Haru hasn't signed it. So, I what kind of ground do you have with that? Also, let's see this contract. Because th this keeps coming up. Let's see this contract, please. Contract can never hold the same weight. You sure about that? Well, think about the repercussions clause. Or the reparations clause, perhaps. And if you back out of the deal now, you will lose everything you own. Okamura Foods, your estate. Even so, I... What about your employees? Are you really willing to put their jobs on the line for the sake of your selfishness? Besides, this marriage is exactly what Okamura Foods needs right now. My father would have no trouble managing your shares or sweeping away your company's tarnished image. Oh damn, guy. That reminds me. Did Takakura-san tell you about the wedding hall? He got us the Phoenix Wing at the Wilton. Oh great, more, more time at the Wilton. Huh? What? He made a provisional reservation for 10 days this coming spring. Well, after all, the sooner the better. Wait a minute. Oh, we'll have to look into our guest schedule as well. There'll be over 300 of them, you know. Takakura-san can handle Okamura Foods in the meantime. Why don't you go stop by the gym or something, Har- Oh, damn, guy, that- that was... unnecessary. I mean, if you have time to mess around with this bunk, you damn well have time to get a little thinner. Oh! Haru, please slap him! Oh, god damn. I'm sorry about that. Oh my god. That guy is horrible. Um. <laughs> You're not wrong about that. Oh, maybe I should have said there was nothing. You don't need to apologize. He has everything. Fame, intelligence, manners. Uh, no, I wouldn't say he has intelligence or manners at all. Not from what we've seen. The only thing he needs now is a wife he can control. <laughs> I guess I'm the perfect target. Not from what I see. I, I, I think he'd have quite a bit of trouble tr controlling you. He's going to get Okamura Foods as well as my entire inheritance. I'm totally powerless against him. No, I don't think so. Ask to see the contract. Seriously, ask to see that contract. Because that's the only thing he seems to have over you. Ask to see the contract. You're not powerless. You know what? No, you're not powerless. Oh, sorry. I practically forced you to say that. But thank you. Anyway, uh, I hope I can share with you again sometime. Or some other time. Uh, for today, though, I'm rather tired. Would it be okay if we parted here? Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, that kind of sucked, Haru. Your fiancé is a dick. <laughs> ah, you're back. Alright, we are back. Who's talking? Oh, Chihaya! Why do I keep checking that? Everyone there is maxed. Chihaya and Oya are ready. Well, I think we're going to max out Chihaya tonight, but uh, before we do that, let's... Uh, um, I probably already have an order coming to me. Yeah, I do. Our table. Chilly weather conditions or the chilly weather continues to uh, and inf oh, and influence my ability to read and speak inefficiently, but uh, it's expected to start uh, going around very soon with this whole flu stuff, because this is only the third day in a row we've had flu season, I'm realizing. According to the medical institution in Tokyo, the number of patients may rise even further next week. Oh, poor Takame. The flu, huh? You better take care of yourself, you don't get sick. I'm actually glad sick isn't like a state in this game, as uh, it was in uh, in Persona 3 anyway. You had uh, a state of, of being, you know, good, great, uh, fatigued, and uh, sick. And they all affected your performance in combat and whatnot and that thing. If you're great, you would, uh, you know, take less damage, do more damage, sort of stuff like that, crit more often. 
And uh, if you're good, you're just normal. If you're tired, you would take more damage. Tired being fatigued, or I don't remember what they called it. Maybe it was tired, maybe it was fatigued. But you take more damage, you'd hit, uh, you'd be weaker. And if you're sick, not only do you basically act like you're tired, but healing effects were actually half as effective on you. So uh, that was a thing. And you could, you don't just like pop an item and get uh, not be sick anymore. It was like a, a condition that your character was in. It wasn't a status effect. So an only way to uh, to get rid of being sick or get rid of being tired uh, was to basically rest, was to sleep. And uh, then you probably would go from being sick to being okay, or maybe just being tired or things like that. So like that's uh, th that was a thing in that game. <laughs> so uh, that yeah, that was. Uh, we need you guys to leave. Uh, I can't believe he disbanded the party. Well, I can't believe they disbanded. The party leader showed some serious, impressive judgment. Ah, uh, the challenging party's got a lot of good politicians, so their chances were slim to begin with. No, uh, after the psychotic breakdown and stuff, no, people are putting their hopes in one party leader. Oh, well, right now, uh, there isn't anyone better. I guess you can't blame them for hoping. Thanks for the coffee. I'll oh, just leave what I eat here, boss. All right, do we have uh, curry ingredients? Because if we don't have curry ingredients, I'm making coffee. We're out of ingredients. Oh, we but we got a moist katsu bun. I was not expecting that. What the hell is a moist katsu bun? Holy crap! A rainy day special with terrific texture restores 200 HP to an eye. Where the hell did this come from? Huh. That was very random. Let's have Kawakami make some some um, yep. some sure masterful coffee for us. Hi. All right, so we are going to go hang out with Chihaya, but first we're going to get an affinity reading with Haru because I. Wait, wait, was she ready to rank up? You know what, we're going to get an affinity ring with Haru anyway. Just to get a little extra points in there. Prevention is key. Uh, let's get a fortune reading for affinity on Haru because I don't remember anymore actually if she was uh, ready. But either way, I know she wasn't ready when we started that. And yeah, that's pretty bad because like that was all like um, Here we go. minutes ago. <laughs> Here I go, and I don't remember. Feeling should reach the other person. Okay, yes, we are. She is indeed ready. If she wasn't what already. Um, all right, let's do a verification test. Let's max you out, Jihaya. Something I'd like to ask you. Please have a seat. Let's uh let's hang out with Jihaya. The members seem to be doing well now. I'm glad to hear that. I do a phone consultation with them from time to time, and they're all very cheerful. That goes for my fortune teller customers as well. So business is booming, it sounds like. I've been getting thanked a lot more lately, even by the people who get bad fortunes. Particularly when I tell them they can alter their fate. Well, I'm sure that uh, perks them up. Well, you see, you know what? You've changed. That's very true. All I used to say before was that they were going to face misfortune. I had a best friend in the town I used to live in. She was the first person I read a fortune for. When she started avoiding me, I read the fortune of our fate. Uh oh was a terrible result, but I prayed that it would somehow work out. However, that never happened. That's when I started to believe that fate couldn't be changed. Oh, man. No surprise, though, right? Because I didn't take action on my part to try and change it. Well, I'm glad you can see that now, though. That's a step in the right direction. I haven't talked to her in years. Maybe I'll try contacting her sometime. You know what? You should. She might. Uh, she might be surprised. You you might be surprised on uh, on what that might do for her. She uh, just could be pleasantly surprised to hear your voice, shocked that uh, you still remember her, or she might not want to talk to you. But you never know. But uh, 
It's never. You know what? I, I don't know which one's better to say here. You know what? But I'm just gonna say that you should. Yeah, you're right. Oh, could this be? Ah. <laughs> Good news. The power of conviction is amazing. Her feet and mine are connected. Well, there you go. I will no longer be swayed by names like Monster or Maiden. Glad to hear that. Like, seriously, it's about time. I am simply a fortune teller who provides advice to people with broken spirits. So that they will have conviction and face their future without getting pushed around by fate. That's the fate I've chosen for myself. That sounds like a pretty good one if you ask me. You have strong. You know what? I support. I like this. I support you as one thing, but I, this, this definitely. You have strong convictions. Yes. She would agree. Now, it's your turn to speak. Huh? What would your conviction be, as a phantom thief? Did you figure out who the trickster was then? Sorry, I used fortune telling to find out your true identity. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised, but I'm surprised it took you this long, considering how accurate her uh, her predictions and her fortune telling sort of stuff have been throughout this. Like honestly, she is the one person that could have figured this out like right off the bat. I couldn't help but think that you had something to do with the chairman's confession. It was it kind of obvious how it's like, what was his name, and then suddenly he's you know a different person. Then I discovered that you're the trickster who causes a sensation in the world. Yeah, there's also that. It was the same card as the figure who helped me take down the chairman. <laughs> it finally struck home for me. Don't tell anyone. I wonder if you're right. So what if I am the trickster? You know what? No, at this point, there's... You're, she, just, just go along with this. Like, there's no point in, in dancing around it. She already has us pegged. You good, didn't I? <laughs> but I don't care what your true identity is. As long as you're around, I can always be my true self. Chahaya, you don't need you don't need Darren here around to be your true self. You can you are who you are. That's all you need. That's all you need to know. So, it's fine. Only the fate of the Phantom Thieves is rather unclear. Yeah, there's something about a looming ruin that I have to overcome. Don't worry about it. I got it. The Arcana is set in a tricky position. You can almost say it's facing both heaven and hell. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like it. That's probably because fate has not been decided yet, as it were. It's there's not about uh, this isn't about something happening or unfolding and you needing to change it. This is something whose outcome has yet to be decided, could go either way at any moment, for any reason. At least, you know, that's my take on it. It's not a problem. <laughs> yeah, it's not a problem, don't worry about it. Are you worried about me? There's... There's... No time to be worried. Wow. Forgetting it was voiced, apparently. There's no time to be worried, That that's awesome. What is that supposed to mean? We must take action in order to change fate, right? Yeah. I'll be by your side. That's helpful. Or reassuring, actually. As the fortune teller who changes fates, I will guide you so you can avoid misfortune. Great. Can you tell us how the 19th is going to go? <laughs> Thank you, Chihaya. You know what? That, that is reassuring. I'm glad he says that as an option. <laughs> As I literally just said that. <laughs> we have a strong bond with Jihaya. I am that I bow. And the fortune. Special fate reading provides a preview of all abilities f uh, for a confident of your choice. So to me, that's not exactly a very useful ability. <laughs> Largely because we have the internet and other people. Uh, that uh, have played and has this information up there freely defined. All right. All right. Lakshmi? Really? That's that's the ultimate one in this one? Huh. 
For, um, I, I recognize the name. I think um, I think Lakshmi used to be like a mid-tier, mid to, to late game tier sort of thing or something like that, if I'm remembering right. Anyway, definitely wasn't like, you know, ultimate sort of status before. It's kind of uh, weird. Still, what a strange sequence the cards were in when I read the fortune about your true identity. How so? Several cards with strong personalities gathered around the trickster. That makes sense. It's quite improbable. It was almost as if it were trying to connect them together. Yeah, that would probably be all of our... All of my friends slash social links and whatnot, they're all, uh, you know, supporting in their own way. You either have amazing charisma, or you're a trouble magnet. One kind of goes along with the other at times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The verification tests are over, but don't forget about me, okay? Sure. Please, visit again sometime. I will probably visit you quite often for more readings. Goodbye! I can probably guarantee that. Oh, that's right, coffee. All right, here we go. We got our master coffee. And how does the 16th start for us? Because uh, it is uh, getting a little late into this episode. Hi. All right, quiet down, everyone. Changing lessons from today. Regular class. We're reviewing. Oh, this is free time for us. Perfect. Listen carefully. <laughs> Don't think you can slack off. Absolutely no slacking off. Thank you, Kawakami. What do you want to do? What are we going to do? Well, we're we're I guess we're going to read uh, batting science, game secrets. Ah, screw it. Let, wait, what does game secrets even do? Compilation of tricks for every video game, making any game easy. Is that going to like reduce the difficulty of the games or something? Like, is it going to point to that? Well, I'm going to start the crowd, Cthulhu. What the hell? Looking for the abyss of cosmic fear, or looking into. Oof. Wow. That's a very detailed story about a fantasy world. Huh. That was not much of anything. You got it. Uh, yeah. Nice free time. Okay. Oh, it's raining. Two days left. No one's talking to us. Who do we have available? And who's Max? Jihaya is not going to be there. It's raining. Grr. Nobody else is around. Grr. So. Huh. I'm torn on what to do. I'm going to uh, call the episode here, though, as we're at like 32, 33, almost 34 minutes, because counting and me and time going up. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And hope you'll come back uh, next time to see what the hell we do for the next few days, because we are getting ever so closer to that uh, wall to the 19th and our uh, and our day for the cards and whatnot. So, until then, take care, you hear?